Hi, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to live screen and video chat and video call on your Nextcloud server. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to log into my Nextcloud server. So I'm going to log in from my from the app.rootpal portal page and I'm going to log into the plus control panel. So here you can see my websites that I have hosted uh, in Plesk. Uh, it's also where you control your Nextcloud instance on your Nextcloud server. And as you can see, I have chosen cloud.rootpalnextcloud.com as my Nextcloud server domain name. So I used a subdomain. And if you want to know how to make your Nextcloud server uh, hosted on a subdomain, I have a video for that. You can check it out in our video section on YouTube. But I'm going to be showing you how to do a video call, how to connect, um, and some other cool features like screen sharing. So let's go ahead and go to our Nextcloud instance. And I'm just going to auto log in using this. And it should automatically log me in into my Nextcloud server. And the auto login will not work if you do not have SSL enabled. So you have to make sure you have SSL enabled for it to auto log you in. And before we head over to the talk section, if you haven't already, you need to install the talk app. So to do this, you want to go to apps, go to app bundles. And I enabled the hub, bun the hub bundle, which does all the, um, the calendar, the contacts, the mail, the talk. It enables everything in the, the hub bundle and the groupware bundle, which has, um, you know, everything you really need for a business to do mail, contacts, um, sales calls, whatever you need to do. Uh, I suggest enabling that. Um, if you watched how to set up your next cloud server, first the first video, then you have, should already have this enabled as I instructed you to enable it. So let's head over to talk. This is how we're going to do. Um, you can do mostly anything. It's Zoom, but it's your Zoom, and because you are, you have the next, you have, you have, you own the server and you never have to pay for, you know, how many people join or whatever. You just pay for the resources of your next cloud server. But what's cool is it's super powerful because you could do screen sharing. You could do live video. People can join directly from your phone. Um, so if you have a mobile device, iPhone, Android, they can join directly from a link that you set up on your next to join this this webinar or this this talk so i'm going to show you how to do it so let's just do uh let's create a conversation and let's call a sales call we have a sales call you could do you could do a meeting you could do whatever you want right and we're just going to click allow guests to join via link and if you want a password protected so only specific people join if they have the link you can set a password send that password through the email hey here you go join this meeting blah, 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 enter this password and they'll be able to join, but I'm not going to do that and open conversation to registered users. I'm not going to do that as well. So I'm just going to use, I just want to, I want a link to give someone so they can join my call. You know, I could screen share with them or whatever. So I'm going to click add participants. And from here I can actually add people or add users that are on my Nextcloud server. So if you have your businesses, your employees, whatever you need, you can directly add them from here if they are on your Nextcloud server. And you can do that by, you know, adding groups or users or whatever. You can search for them, but I'm not gonna do that because I'm the only user on my Nextcloud server right now. So I haven't added any, any employees or anything like that, but I'm gonna create the conversation anyways. So once I create the conversation, uh, I'm gonna click copy conversation link. And so now I can give this link to anyone and they can jump in the call. So I'm gonna go ahead and start it. You can see this, there's some information over here. I'm gonna start the call. And it's probably gonna ask me to webcam, which it did. 
So my webcam is now on and I have a really bad webcam, so I'm not going to be showing anything, um, unfortunately. So, but you can see it works. Uh, so I'm gonna copy the link again and I'm gonna join on my phone. So I'm gonna join uh, the call on my phone. So one moment while I do that. All right, so I've entered the link on my phone. And now it's asking if I'd like to access the microphone and camera on my phone. I'm gonna click allow. And there we go. Ooh, feedback. And as you can see, it's very dark in the room, <laughs> but I am video streaming from my phone um, and it works pretty well. So yeah, I mean, it's, it's pretty cool. And you can have multiple people in, you know, on the, on the stream or on the talk and you can chat directly through here. So hold on one second, I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off put it down and now I'm going to show you something else that's really cool let me just all right so now I'm going to enable screen sharing and this is down here you could do this down here uh, I've muted myself just because I don't want any weird feedback coming through um, or that weird noise but I am now going to screen share. And once I click that screen sharing thing, I can actually select a specific window um, to screen share. So let's do this. There we go. And there you go. So now I'm screen sharing this window to the users on the call. And so now if I wanna, you know, show someone how to do something or, and this is live streaming. So they, they're seeing it pretty well, pretty fast. Um, and it's pretty strong. I mean, all right, some nice stuff on YouTube. But yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. You could, that's how you stream share and share your screen. And you, there's other, some other cool things you could do, like you can raise your hand as a user. Um, guests can type in here or mention people that are in the chat. Uh, so, you know, if you have users, you can add them. Um, you, could, you can uh, upload files or share from Nextcloud files. There's just so many things you could do it's very powerful for whatever you're trying to do, but Nextcloud Talk is super powerful for you know sales calls or anything you're that you need to show or get on a meeting with. Um, so yeah, and once you're done with the call, you can just simply leave call. There's some other options that you can rename the conversation, copy the links, mute specific people. Uh, you could do specific things on the conversation settings. Uh, you know, danger zones. Um, you can delete the conversation completely, delete the chat history. You have full control over your, uh, what goes on in this specific meeting in the talk. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave the call. The call has ended, uh, but you can see the chat history and whatever you need to keep it for future references. So if you need to go back and see what happened, on that meeting or you transferred some files or whatever, it's all here under talk.
But once you're done, let's say you want to delete it, you want it gone permanently, we just click this. You can delete it. There's some other features you could do here as well or leave the conversation, but deleting the conversation will permanently delete everything, all the attachments, everything in it. Leaving it will remove you, but not delete the, the chat. So I'm gonna just delete it because I don't want this information ever to be restored again. And there we go. So that is Nextcloud Talk. It's super powerful for screen sharing, video streaming, uh, not video streaming, sorry, uh, you know, sharing sharing video chatting online with your potential clients uh you know webinars whatever you can think of it's you know a very far, very powerful solution and that's all done through your next uh through your next cloud server and it's pretty cool because you know once you have your contacts in there if you're doing you know sales calls if you have everything you know connected in your contacts and in your mail and everything, it becomes very easy to uh, start those meetings directly from Nextcloud and create those groups or do whatever you need to do um, in your Nextcloud server. So it is a very powerful all-in-one solution for your business or you personally. But that's pretty much it. I will be releasing more Nextcloud videos and tutorials. So stay tuned. Thank you.